Okay, Google, turn on board. Okay, turning on the board. You don't have to be bored in math class! You ready? You ready? You ready? Where? Over here! We're looking at some sum properties. The sum of the sum is the sum of the sums. And the sum of the difference is the difference of the sums. What cack? So, if a constant is times the sequence and you're summing that up, you can pull a constant out of the sum. Now, this is for a uh, Calc 1 class, and eventually you're going to get to integration, and the summation is like the preview of the integration discreetly, discreetly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, and down here, if you're summing up a constant, there's going to be n of them. So then that's how you would multiply that out. Now, let's get to some examples. Oh, boy, you guys can come right on over here. So what do we have? All right. I have that the sum k from 1 to n of a k is 3, t, t, and the sum k equals 1 to n of b k is 48 grades. Now b k and a k are two different sequences, so when I add those sequences, they're two different sums. So he, here we go. <coughs> that part. No. Oh, oh. What is that? What is that? Runa, is that you? No, I'm fine. I can pass a constant out of the sum. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna pass that constant out of that sum, and then I have that sum, k equals one to n of a k, but they told me that was three. So that says eight times three. Oh, no, that's not it. Premature box, premature flower. That is uh, 24. What would Jack Bauer do? I think on a good day, oh my gosh, we might have to cut this. No, you're gonna make it blue. You're my boy, blue. Let's go on over here. So here I got another constant, pass it out. I'm gonna pass out. So that's a 48 grade weight. That's K equals one to N then. That's B, K. Okay, why did it just come with capital B? It's not supposed to, see? You usually use the little letters for the sequence. And I know that B, K is 48. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson, is he still doing that? That's 48 grade weight. And then that's times 48. Oh no, uh, oh. And you are the one. I'm gonna call it Neo. There can only be one. On over here. Whoa. The sum of the sums is the sum of the sums. So let's sum those sums. Yeah. All right. So now this is the sum of the sums. AK had to say it was a good day. I did use my AK. Oh man. Cook the breakfast with no hog? Oh, I'm gonna hog this example, because AK was three, and then I'm gonna add that to 48 crates. Wait, 51, where's the 50? It's a 24 hour hold. Let's go on and hold on to this one over here. Oh boy, the difference of the sum no, the sum of the difference is the difference of the sum. I have it right on over there. Oh boy. So then here it is. That's the sum k equals 1 to n a k. Okay. That's the sum k equals 1 to n b k. We say that a k gonna be 3 t t minus that 48. Great weight. Woo. So on a good day, on a good day, that's 45. It's a problem of a different caliber. Pow! Oh, whoa, oh, ah, whoa. Here. Mm -hmm. So the sum of the sum is the sum of the sums, and I'm gonna pass that constant out. So here we go. That's the sum. K equals one to N of BK. All right. Minus, now wait for it. Seven times the sum of AK. Where what? K starts at 1 and goes to N, then I see T. T. My BK is 48. Great weight. And then that's 7 times whatever my AK was. It was 3. T. T. So that's 48. Great weight. Minus 21. Fun. Ooh, what is that? Is that 27? I don't know. If I get it wrong, you'll let me know in the comments. Get